In a previous video, we talked about the prophecies of Blessed Anna Maria Taigi, a woman of deep piety and unwavering faith. Both hardworking and spiritual, she is a model example to all parents. Having her foremost desire to love and serve God with the highest devotion and striving to avoid even the slightest voluntary imperfection. Blessed Anna Maria Taigi's life was characterized by her profound devotion to the Holy Trinity, the Most Holy Eucharist, the Infant Jesus, and the Sacred Passion of Our Lord, along with a special veneration for Our Lady. By God's grace, she offers a profound example for us to follow, embodying virtues that inspire a life of faith and love. In addition to her exemplary life, Blessed Anna Maria Taigi was also gifted with supernatural gifts, including the gift of prophecy, of which we will share some of them in this video. With this said, we ask you to exercise continuous discernment throughout this video, and may our Lord Jesus Christ, in his infinite goodness and mercy, grant us the grace to be ever wise, so that we may never be deceived, but to benefit from whatever that he wishes us to know and understand, to the betterment of our souls and the world. O most loving Jesus, goodness beyond understanding and power infinite, thank you for loving me so much to the point of dying for me, and for giving me so many graces and gifts. O most loving Savior, I implore thee to help me, that I may always love thee above all things and trust in thee at all times. I beseech thee, to deliver me from the many treacherous lies and deceitful words of false prophets and teachers, but most of all, guide me and help me to always be vigilant and careful, so that I may never be deceived, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. It was stated that Cardinal Pettacini said that there was one day where Anna Maria, while shedding a torrent of tears, prayed and offered her actions and sufferings for the conversion of sinners, for the destruction of sin, and that God might be known and loved by all men. Then God manifested to her the horrible sins of persons of every condition, and how grievously he was offended. At this sight the servant of God experienced a profound sorrow, and sighing, she exclaimed, Dearly beloved, what is the remedy for this disaster? Jesus Christ answered, My child, the church, my spouse, my father, and myself shall remedy everything. For after a punishment, those who shall survive shall have to conduct themselves well. At this point she saw innumerable conversions of heretics, who will return to the bosom of the church, she saw, also, the edifying conduct of their lives, as well as that of all other Catholics. In one of her visions dated March 21, 1812, of which is also said to have been mentioned in her beatification process, is recorded as follows. The holy woman prayed for the church and for the whole world. She saw suddenly a globe similar to the earth in the air, completely surrounded by flames which threatened to consume it. On one side was Jesus crucified, shedding a torrent of blood, at his feet was the Blessed Virgin who, having laid down her queen's mantle, urged the Divine Savior to stop, by the merits of his blood offered for sinners, the plagues with which men were threatened, Anna Maria united in this prayer and the vision disappeared. Blessed Anna Maria Taigi also seems to have a revelation of a civil war of France. France, she said, shall fall into frightful anarchy. The French people shall have a desperate civil war, in which old men themselves shall take up arms. The political parties having exhausted their blood and their rage without being able to arrive at any satisfactory understanding, they shall at the last extremity, agree by common consent to have recourse to the Holy See. Then the Pope shall send to France a special legate, in order that he may examine the state of affairs and the dispositions of the people. In consequence of the information received, His Holiness Himself shall nominate a Most Christian King for the government of France. During this time there shall be a great universal revolution. The priests shall almost everywhere be massacred to such an extent that, in order to find one of them alive, it shall be necessary to travel several days. 
The churches shall be closed, but only for a short time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, through the listening of the prophecies attributed to Blessed Anna, it is clear that we are and will be facing challenging times. Whether these prophecies have already come to pass or been mitigated by God's mercy, the reality remains that we live in difficult times and things are clearly not right. In light of this, let us be inspired by these prophecies to intensify our prayers for God's mercy upon our world. May we also be motivated to evangelize and bear witness to the holy name of Jesus Christ through our life, words, thoughts, and actions. As we navigate this period of darkness, let us strive to be beacons of hope and charity, reflecting the light of Christ in all we do. According to the other prophecies of Blessed Marie and the words of sacred scripture, good will ultimately prevail over evil, and Jesus will always be victorious. Let us draw strength from the sacraments of the Church and commit to frequent participation in Holy Mass and the visitation of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Let us also embody Christ-like virtues acting with love, charity, patience, and truthfulness. Above all, let us remain hopeful, rooted in our faith in Christ our Lord. Lastly, here are some biblical passages to motivate and encourage you. I will not leave you orphans, I will come to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, and sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word Incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me, Amen. O blessed Joseph, Father and Guide of Jesus Christ in his childhood and youth, who didst lead him safely in his flight through the desert, and in all the ways of his childhood, be also my companion and guide in this pilgrimage of life, and never permit me to turn aside from the way of God's commandments. Be my refuge in adversity, my support in temptation, my solace in affliction, until at length I arrive at the land of the living, where with thee and Mary, thy most holy spouse, and all the saints, I may rejoice forever in Jesus my Lord, Amen. O angel of God, to whose care I am committed by the supreme clemency, enlighten, defend, direct, and govern me this day, in all my thoughts, words and actions. Bless us, O Lord, and preserve us from all evil, and bring us to eternal life. Amen. And let us now ask God for pardon for all of the sins that we have committed, having too a firm intention to go to confession as soon as possible if conscious of an unconfessed mortal sin. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for all my sins, because by them I have offended thee. I detest them above all things, and I am firmly resolved, by the help of thy holy grace, which I beseech thee to grant me now and always, rather to die than offend thee any more, Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the virtue of his sacred passion, the sign of his holy cross, the purity and humility of the blessed Virgin Mary, the protection of the angels, and the intercession of all the saints and elect of God, be with me and defend me, now and at the hour of my death. O God, whose property is always to have mercy and to spare, be favorably propitious to the souls of thy servants, and grant them the remission of all their sins, that, being delivered from the bonds of this mortal life, they may be admitted to life everlasting. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. O Jesus, I love you, 
I thank you and I adore you. Thank you, Jesus, thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you for watching and may God pour down an abundance of graces and blessings upon all of us. Till next time, stay blessed and keep praying.